Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Precious Robbins with Precious Pythons and I am back with another video. So today I am pulling clutch number three. So third clutch is officially on the ground and I'm super excited to pull this clutch. This pairing was my pastel het clown female to my male banana pastel het clown. Now it's a pretty basic pairing. This was probably my second pairing ever in my entire collection. Um, I My goal uh, with this pairing was made a very long time ago, at least it feels like it. Um, and back when I first got into this hobby or industry, I wanted to make banana clowns or killer banana clowns. It was like my dream snake was super, super uh, serious about hitting that snake. and. Um, there have been plenty of times where I could have purchased that combo or morph and I told myself that I was going to make that snake. So um, this for me um, is very exciting because it will be my first dream snake that I make myself. It's not really my dream snake anymore. Um, I think I guess I have uh, upgraded or graduated to other aspirations. but. Um, it still has like a, a really, really good place in my heart um, to, to hit these odds. Um, and obviously it's a head to head, so the odds are extremely slim. Um, but if I were to hit it, it would make it even, you know, that much better. So um, again, Dream Snake, big deal for me. Super, super pumped to pull this egg, to pull these eggs, see how many I got, see how many chances I have to hit a banana clown. So um, stay tuned, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So I have all my stuff here to set up my egg box. I'm going to do it the same exact way as I did my last egg box, which was the six, the clutch I had, six eggs, highway, um, yellow belly, G-stripe um, male that I had. And the reason why I'm going to do it the same way is because I had a really good success with that. I thought I was going to be experimenting with multiple methods for setting up my egg box, which I might still do it, but... Um, because I don't want to lose any eggs <laughs> at all, I'm going to stick with the method that was successful for right now. So I have my vermiculite. I'm not going to be using a tray or a light diffuser panel. I'm going to put the eggs right in the substrate uh, and I'm going to fill it up about an inch and a half. Let's see. A little bit more. Okay, that seems just about perfect. Now I'm going to add some water and Again, I am not measuring. I didn't measure the last time. I went based off of the feel. All right, so I have more water because that wasn't enough. It was wet enough where it was clumping up, but I just want maybe like one drip or two of water when I squeeze the vermiculite. <laughs> That's 
So I'm going to stick with this consistency. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it's clumping in my hands. So now that I have my eggs, now that I have my egg box all set up, I'm going to get the mom out of her tub, pull the eggs. First, I'm going to wash my hands. All right, so now that I'm done with the egg box, I'm going to go ahead and pull the mom when she should be finished laying all the eggs by now. Okay, she looks pretty defensive. <laughs> so I'm going to unwrap her. Just, I'm not sure if she's done. So she's still, she's not done. There's one egg. It feels like there's one left inside. So I'm gonna put her back and let her finish. I'm gonna remove these though. Now, um, as you guys saw, I put her back. Um, it just felt like there was one still left near her tail end. Um, so I'm hoping that she can pass that egg here soon and I'll just add it to the clutch. Um, it only felt like one was left inside. I hope I don't have any issues with that. So um, I'll give it a couple, like an hour, a couple more hours. But it looks like as of right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight eggs. <laughs> she gave me eight eggs. So that's the most eggs that I've had yet. Third clutch, third time's the charm. So wow, eight eggs. Let me, let me just recap. This is like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eggs. If she passes that one, that'll be eight eggs laid by her. Um, and uh, it's amazing. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and separate these um, and candle them. Um, I honestly just want to pause and like do a happy dance, but I'm going to want to continue on. Okay. So I'm separating. And the eggs are super soft and malleable. And they're nice and white and big. And that makes me really happy. The last clutch I had was a pretty big clutch, nice size eggs. And the hatchlings weighed um, around between 55 and 65 a piece. Um, so those were pretty good weights for every single hatchling to have. So I've separated all the eggs. I'm gonna shut the lights off and candle them.
All right, so I am done candling the eggs and separating them. Um, really good eggs. A few are a little misshapen. Um, and looks like one is a, has a little bit of a boob, but um, they had very, very good veins. Um, so s seven eggs and one more in the mom. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on her. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm a little worried. Um, I don't wanna end up like with an egg bound snake. Um, but I'm not gonna think about that. That's negative thinking, I'm gonna think positive. <laughs> and I'm just gonna wait for her to pass the egg. I'm sure there's no problem. It was right, right at the end of her tail. So yeah, this is this is so amazing. I'm, I'm super, super um, happy. I can't believe I got eight eggs, um, technically seven, but hopefully eight, one more on the way. Um, I'm gonna put some press and seal on the box and to keep as much humidity in there as possible. There aren't any holes. There aren't any holes in this egg box, so it's nice and sealed. Um, just like my last egg box. I'm gonna put this in the incubator that's already on and running. And I will keep you guys updated uh, once this clutch hatches. So 55 days from today, we'll see how these eggs are doing. I'll check at the 30 day mark and then I'll check again at 55. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I can't say how um, ecstatic I am to see what comes about of these eggs. You know, regardless of what it is, I know it's gonna make my day. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Uh, let me know what you thought of the female that laid. Um, if you have any head-to-head -head pairings or you got a visual, I wanna know if you've beaten odds like that before. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subbed and stay tuned for upcoming videos. I will be posting more and more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.